The Food and Drug Administration rejects the nasal spray version of the EpiPen. They want more data on repeat doses of the spray. The maker of the drug, ARS Pharma, says they are appealing the decision and will work to get the requested information. Joining us now to talk about this and other health-related topics is Dr. Bill Hartman, clinical trialist at UW Health. We always love having you on. So this is the first needle-free alternative to the EpiPen. All indications pointed to this thing getting green-lighted. What are they worried about here? Right. I was quite shocked by the FDA decision, actually, to uh, reject Nephi at this point. Uh, there's a lot of kids that are, are scared of uh, needles. There's a lot of people that are scared of needles. And having an alternative to the auto injectors was thought to be uh, very important and a big deal. But the FDA is worried that uh, there wasn't any data on if this was effective against people having an anaphylactic reaction. This brings into all sorts of ethical concepts. You know, should you be testing this on people as they're having a life-threatening situation? Uh, it's um, uh, something that's going to have to be ironed out. I understand why the makers are frustrated with the FDA's decision. How do you go about conducting clinical trials like that when you're dealing with, well, do we put somebody into anaphylactic shock? I mean, how does that all work? It's, 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 it's going to be a very touchy subject and, and something that may uh, shape the way that we do clinical trials going into the future. Uh, one of the, the alternatives would be to uh, induce anaphylaxis in animal models and see how well it works in the animal models and try to extrapolate that to the human data, although it doesn't always uh, translate as well as you might think. Well, let's switch gears here for a moment. Some bad news for Americans. A new study is showing that consuming ultra-processed foods is linked to depression and other sorts of issues for men and women. What is the science behind this? Well, this is uh, interesting. And, and it's what came first, the chicken or the egg uh, type situation. Are people depressed and therefore have a lack of motivation to, to exercise and to cook and to eat well? And so they grab these ultra processed foods and uh, this leads to uh, all sorts of uh, things like obesity and worsening depression. Or do the foods themselves cause disturbances in, in your gut microbiome uh, that, that causes a release of uh, some, some molecules that lead to depression? We don't really know. We just know that this association does exist. Well, and the fact that if it ha occurs both ways, it could just be this vicious cycle that people just can't get out of once you're kind of stuck into it, right? Correct. And so, you know, the important thing is always have a balanced diet. Eat your fruits and vegetables. Uh, try to be uh, as healthy and as, uh, as health conscious as you can be. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Dr. Bill Hartman, we always appreciate it. Thank you for your time.